Hey everyone, this is Lucy and in this video we're going to be covering a highly requested video topic which is how to document your AWS cloud projects. Many of you who are learning AWS know that cloud projects are a great way to build your technical skills. But the question that often comes up is how do you showcase these projects when applying to a job? Well, there are a few ways to do this, and here are the three methods we'll be covering in today's video. The first one is by showcasing your projects on a personal portfolio website. The second one is by creating a GitHub repository for your projects. And the third one is by using social media platforms like Medium and LinkedIn. For each of these, I'll provide step-by-step -step instructions on how you can get started, as well as some examples of how other people have used these methods to document their cloud projects. Let's get into it. So method number one is to document your cloud projects through a personal portfolio website. This is one of the most common ways to showcase your projects because it will not only help you build a personal brand, but also maximize your chances of getting hired into a cloud role. You can kind of think of a portfolio website as the central place for you to store and link everything together. This could include your resume, AWS cloud projects, as well as any blog articles you've written. Pretty much anything that can help showcase your skills and experiences. For instance, if you create a 3 tier web application on AWS, you could include a project section in your portfolio and document it there. But at this point, some of you might be thinking, okay, Lucy, what exactly do you mean by document? What are the key components I should include? Well, it's really up to you because there's no one correct way of doing this. But what I would recommend is to start by writing a summary of what you built, the steps you took, and what services you used. You could also include an architectural diagram and any screenshots of the process. And if you want to go a step further, one more option is to create a YouTube video to demonstrate how the application works. The main point is to make sure the documentation is clear and easy to understand. Okay, let me show you some examples I came across where people have added cloud projects to their portfolio. So this first example is from Adita Pratama. He's a site reliability engineer based in Indonesia and does a really good job at showcasing all of his experiences in cloud and IT. If we click on the project section, you can see that Adita has created a list of personal projects that he's worked on in the past. Let's take a look at this AWS serverless web application project. So in this article, there's a little introduction section explaining why the project was built. And if we scroll down a bit more, we can see the diagram of the architecture and the services used. This is then followed by a step-by-step -step summary of how the project was built, so that if someone were to try and build the exact same project, they'll be able to follow along the instructions. I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to check out Adita's website. And let's move on to another example of a portfolio website. This next example is a portfolio website created by Marika Bergman. Marika is a freelance full stack developer and on her website she documents her AWS cloud projects and certification badges. In the project section, she highlights two technical projects, one of them being the cloud resume challenge. If we hover over the box, you can see that she has a blog post about the project as well as the front end and back end of the project stored on GitHub. Let's take a look at her blog post about the cloud resume challenge. So similar to the previous example, Marika also shares some context on why she decided to build the project. And she also included an architectural diagram of what she built. But what I really like about this post in particular is that she takes more of a personal approach and talks about things that she found challenging. For example, having to choose between a REST API and a HTTP API. To create your own portfolio website, I'll recommend using a website builder instead of trying to build it from scratch so that you can have it up and running much faster. Let me show you a quick demo of how to get started. So I'm using Hostinger, one of my favorite web hosting platforms. And if you click on the link below, you'll be able to get a special discount on their annual subscription. Okay, let's click on claim deal. And here I'd recommend going with the premium web hosting option. This one lets you create up to 100 websites and also provides you with a free custom domain, which I find quite useful. Let's click add to cart and choose a period. I'm going to choose the 48 month option since it offers the best value and also because I want my websites to be up and running in the long term. And before you make the purchase, remember to use the code TECHWITHLUCY in this coupon code section over here to get an even bigger discount. Now once you've signed up, you'll see this hosting a dashboard and the option to claim your free domain. I'm going to type in lucyawsproject.com and you can choose any domain name you'd like. Check for the availability and complete registration. Cool, so now I'm ready to build my portfolio website. And what's really great about Hostinger is that they now have an AI website builder option. So you can just type in what website you need and they will generate something that's tailored to what you're looking for. Okay, so here I'll type in personal portfolio website for AWS projects. Awesome, so here's the website they generated and I can customize it to make it look exactly the way I want. 
If you'd like to build your own website using Hostinger, you can head to hostinger.com forward slash techwithlucy to get a limited time discount on all the yearly plans. But yeah, overall I'd highly recommend building a portfolio website because it would not only help you keep track of everything you've built, but also make it easier for you to present your projects to potential employers. The second way to document your AWS cloud projects is by using GitHub. GitHub is widely used in the tech industry and is a great way to document your AWS cloud projects. Now, instead of walking you through the stages of creating a GitHub account and storing your projects, let me show you a great example of one. So here we have the GitHub page of Verbal, a junior DevOps engineer. If we click on the repositories tab, you can see that he has a repository named AWS projects, where he stores a copy of all the cloud projects that he has worked on. There's five cloud projects in this repo. For example, one of them is a data migration project and another is a web app project. Let's take a look at the web app project folder and see what's inside. Okay, cool. So Robo has created a web application for an example organization called Hoden School and has packaged up his project in a cloud formation template. He included the architectural diagram as well as detailed instructions on how to configure the project. If you'd like to check out the rest of his GitHub repo, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Now, the third way to document your AWS cloud projects is by leveraging platforms like Medium and LinkedIn. This is one of my favorite ways that I've seen people document their AWS cloud projects because with those platforms, you can reach a broader audience, which then of course may lead to more job opportunities. Similar to the previous two methods, I would recommend including a description of the project, the AWS services you used, as well as any relevant diagrams or screenshots. And again, don't shy away from discussing any challenges you faced and how you tackled them. Here's an example of someone who followed one of my YouTube tutorials and published a LinkedIn article to document it. So this article is written by Sachin Adi and he talks about how he visualized data with Amazon QuickSight and Amazon S3. At the very top of the article, we can straight away see the architectural diagram. And as we scroll down a bit more, we can find a step-by-step -step walkthrough with screenshots to showcase every stage. What I like about his screenshots is that they provide extra detail through red boxes and numbers. And what that does is it shows people what exactly they need to click on at each step. All right, something we haven't covered in this video yet is how to add cloud projects onto your resume. This is a cloud computing resume template that I've shared in previous videos, and I'll include a link to it in the description below. But as you can see here, all you really have to do is include the name of your project and a short description of what you built. You could also include a hyperlink to your GitHub or portfolio page in order to provide more details. So there you have it, three effective ways to document your AWS cloud projects and build a strong portfolio. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a like. And as always, I'll see you in the comments below. All right, bye for now.